Well, first up is prize money, John, and this is good news, the uh, two-year-old guarantee. Uh, can I say, firstly, with prize money, uh, 24% of the uh, funding available in the first year is dedicated to prize money. So it's a, a fair chunk. Um, prize money was high on the list of uh, all the submissions, so prize money was a priority. Uh, with a two-year-old guarantee, um, well, it, this policy's already been announced, but we needed to fund it from somewhere. Basically, what happens that um, under the conditions, if six horses are nominated for a race, the two-year-old race will go ahead. Now, we'll set a calendar, and that calendar will dictate where the races are. But um, in the past, what has occurred is that um, if a club had eight other races with full fields, they would tend to drop the two-year-old race. That won't be happening going forward with Harness Racing New South Wales. What about unplaced prize money? Well, it's essential that we, uh, we, we have full fields and it's essential that uh, also owners do get something back out of uh, running back in the field uh, further back. So um, th that is now funded. It's, it's funded substantially and uh, that will be um, not drawn from any other forms of prize money. So that's another benefit as well. Driver superannuation, um, this is important. Y yes, uh, introduced from July 1. It's, it's, it's not as straightforward as um, some may think. It's, it's based only on the uh, driver's uh, fee, so that's the fee they get paid regardless of where they finish. Um, drivers, uh, of course, must earn more than $450 per month to qualify for the uh, government um, superannuation guarantee. So um, Harness Racing New South Wales has um, sent out to all licensees, all licensed drivers that is, um, the forms which they must fill in and submit back to Harness Racing New South Wales so we can commence that from July 1. What about the increase in non-tab prize money? Uh, non-tab prize money, um, there were there's uh, 14 non uh, tab clubs and they all put a submission in. Um, it, it rises from uh, $1,500 per race to uh, $2,000 per race. Uh, in, in the future years, of course, it will be uh, graduated up until finally by the end of the five year phase in period, they will hit the um, $3,500 mark. Will there be more non-tab races? And there'll be no more non-tab uh, races. In fact, the aspirational future uh, for Harness Racing New South Wales is to convert all non-tab races into TAB races. Now, what's happening with uh, the restricted and the country racing? Uh, yes, uh, they go from $3,000 to $3,500. Now, also involved with that, um, we've already put out there the calendar for FY16-17. Ten of those meetings that are already listed as C meetings, um, mainly in the Western Districts in the Riverina, will be uh, improved to become B grade meetings or B category meetings. So, um, so they'll go from three thousand, three thousand to three thousand five hundred to three thousand five hundred to five thousand. If that isn't too complicated. No, we understand that. Um, and any other prize money news from uh, the release? Yeah, yes, certainly. Um, over time, over time, uh, the base prize money will be increased for from for B meetings and for A meetings, uh, and for the base prize money for midweek uh, Tuesday races held at Tabcorp Park, Menangle. So, uh, at the end of uh, the end of the cycle or the the five year phase in period, we'll be looking at uh, figures up around the seven thousand seven thousand five hundred dollars as the base prize money. Of course, the clubs can add to that prize money, and I, I must compliment the principal club. Um, if people don't understand, uh, each year they put in $5 million on top of their total base prize money that's supplied from the from the uh, Harness Racing New South Wales funding to other races, such as the Country Series and also um, to the Tuesday races. They're actually, right at this present time, putting $2,000 on top of the base prize money. So it is good racing, uh, good money uh, for racing in New South Wales.